We should have not watched this part. We should have just skipped to SAO Season 3 after GGO, bro. We should have stopped at Tonki. No, Tonki arc should have happened after Mother Rosary arc. This is way too sad. What are we doing? It is good, but it's so sad. And who the fuck is Mother Rosario? We still don't even know. All we know is the second who is Yuki was... She got fucked by the hospital. Hospital blood transfusion had AIDS in it, but it's not any normal AIDS. It's super AIDS. And then the whole Medicube Boyd experiment because, you know, she decided to do that as a choice because this is the only sense of normalcy she'll have. Everything is so fucked. Everything is so fucked. If only we could have uh, her consciousness, like, put into the game. Kind of how Kayaba did, but I don't think that's possible at this point. We're just gonna have just a sad time. And by the way, Sleeping Nights, all of them are terminally ill. They're literally called Sleeping Nights, because they ain't none of them getting up after spring. Let's begin today's reaction. What the fuck are these kids? Kazu. 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 I... I mean, <laughs> fucking, it's he's Kirito to me. Not Kazuto, Kazu? She's replaced Yui. <laughs> Yui, 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 Beginning of a dream. Who is Mother Rosario? Hopefully no creepy teachers. Imagine they do something fucked up by introducing a creepy ass teacher because we, you know, sexual art, uh, you know, sexual assault online. And like one time that Yuki goes to school, she gets fucking assaulted. Or <笑>大丈夫。この学校は先生っぽくない先生ばっかりだから。先日ご相談していたけれども、あ、はい、勇気。この勇気です。いや、she's <笑> <laughs> School time! Are having fun! Whoa, so many kids! She should do a foreign exchange student, you know, fucking an introduction. Like a transfer student. I hope no one is mean to us, man. I hope nobody bullies us. I love her! I don't know how to feel about this teacher. He seemed nice. But like the shading... I'm, I'm probably just going crazy. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm probably crazy, you know, but this, this guy... Is, is he normal? Like, what are we doing to wrap up this arc? Are we gonna have another conflict, huh? Like, this dude is kind of creepy as fuck looking with the shading of his eyes. Stand. Great. The truck. Oh, fixed the new kid. He's being a little mean. I'm not sure if he's trying to get her involved or putting her on the spot. Okay. Okay. He woke up at 8 a.m. to watch the trucks carrying dirt to the construction sites. Right. She's reading well. <gasps> it's almost like Yuki is at school with us by her wearing this uniform. Oh, I can't fucking do this. I can't fucking do this. All right. Crying. No, I'm not gonna cry. This is no more sad times. No. The teacher was kind of mean there by putting her in the spot. You could think that this is an opportunity to get her more involved with the class, but like something about that felt a little weird, huh? <laughs> Everyone loves her so much. Are you into soccer? You think she can fucking play? 
白かったよかったアスナ今日のこと絶対に忘れない Even when you die? I won't forget this either あったじゃない明日の原告は3時間目だからね遅刻しちゃダメだよ見たいものとかないえっとあのね一箇所だけ行ってみたい星川ステーション Sunset lighting, uh oh. Kire na. Um, gomen ne asna. Boku no waga mama no se de. I thought she meant like never. Yuki, ikitai tokoro. Where are we going? Etto ne. Just a casual stroll around town, you know? Just walking around, just sightseeing, okay? No pet? Oh. Tsukimi dai, kono atari kana. Tsukimi dai? This is past memories of Yuki where she used to go to? Oh, old house. She just docks herself. <laughs> it's an overgrown, it's an abandoned house, right? Like, no one lives there. Okay. Good memories or what? And the sister died too, I forgot. Dead. Super AIDS. Okay. Oh. Mary. Wait, what? That's the law? <laughs> Mary? Who the fuck she gonna marry? I don't know who Jun was. Is he part of the Sleeping Nights? Asna Mary! Yuri! Yuri marriage! <laughs> Yuki Yuki isn't a bad name, it's kinda cute. <gasps> Asna is a homophobe! What did she say? I don't think- Cancel Asna. Asna is homophobic. Not only is she the Grand Wizard KKK leader, racist, also homophobic. On Pride Month? Oh my, on Pride Month? Oh my god, Asna. Oh my fucking god. She is a Grand Wizard, guys. Remember what the Abridged series told us? It's a fucking joke. <laughs> Differently? Wait, Kirito being sus? God does not give us more suffering than we can bear. I understand this, but truly, I, I, if you're religious, listen, you can have your own faith, but sometimes I wonder, what kind of greater reason is there in giving a kid super AIDS? What? God's divine plan? You just need to suffer? Just, just trust in religion? I don't know. I feel like sometimes blindly believing in faith like this. I, I think at the end of the day, it at least gives people some sort of outlet of hope and cope and lets them deal with the cognitive dissonance rather than being angry at the world. Maybe it is better. Maybe it is better to have this kind of, you know, reasoning rather than just hating the world for how unlucky you are. でも僕は少しだけ不満だった。True。本当は聖書じゃな。ずっと思ってた。でもね、今この家をもう一度見て、ママは気持ちで包んでくれてたって。僕が最後までまっすぐに前を向いた。ようやくそれが分かった。It's so fucked up giving a kid in her family like this. Like, well, yeah, because your mom just hates you, Asuna. It's different. This is different from Yuki. Your mom is a gold digging bitch that just hates you. Confront mom, move forward, confront her and let her be told. What was that line that they kept being saying? What was that line again? They kept repeating it during the early episodes or something like, you know, in order for your words to be heard, you need to fight. You need, in order for your voice to be heard, you need to push forward or something like that, right? There was some line that Yuki and Asuna were keep repeating in the earlier episodes. So I feel like that's going to translate over to mom at a certain point, right? And, and then what? Who the fuck is Mother Rosario? Is her mom Mother Rosario? What, what's, what's, what's going on, man? You never know. This is probably just like how Shinon sees Kirito as being so strong, except Kirito's like, no, I'm weak and scared, but that's why I'm strong. Oh. 
僕は思うんだ寝る時間が増えるなら全然構わないじゃないってさほら僕もう It's not how many days we have left we have two episodes left she's not gonna die in this one probably she's probably gonna die in the finale right oh fuck I wish that she would die this episode would sound fucked up so that the finale can be like a closure celebrating her life and then we move on to season three please <laughs> そのありがとう。ありがとう、勇気。all right, back at the uh, Asuna family household. We got the atmosphere. Believe in the terminally old kid. Mother. Sorry. I don't want to do transfer tests. No. That's right, Mom. We got to talk. She needs to come into our game. Make her experience ALO. Mother of Mary, it's going to be a name. Get in the game! Link start, bitch! Let's go! Oh my god, the only way to convince this cold-hearted business to show this fucking, fucking make-a-wish kid with super aids. What the fuck is this arc? Mom, there's a kid with super aids! It's a make-a-wish! Come on. Full dive. Full dive right now, bitch. Let's go. Link start. I think mom respects it. Alright. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. 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 Oh, mother? Mom, but blonde. Uh, oh, I see, I see. Oh, 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 Look outside the window. What, to show that seasons exist here? Yeah, it's like the real life. What you see? Or cabin! There's more lore on why Asna loves this cabin. The poor grandpa, grandma, where she's from. Oh, fuck. We're talking at her childhood right now. Oh. He's okay, okay. Well, no. Well, this is an imaginary place of the house that grandma and grandpa had 
we are our cabin has no similarities but it's in the forest like woods in like snow and when looking past it it's like where grandparents parents you know house is asna <gasps> little baby asna Mom can't come visit the graves. <laughs> really? You missed out visiting the graves because you had an important thing with the main family. I'm blaming you. Oh! <gasps> I didn't know that. <gasps> grandparents that are so happy of their daughter's success but the daughter was so jaded and upset that they were from a poor countryside and she went to the cities and she would never come back visit but the grandparents are still so happy and proud no matter what <laughs> ah! Stop! so that one day she would come back <laughs> Good. Having a community. Yeah. Hold up, this is Windbreaker right now. You know, it's like getting to the top is not about, you know, a lonely path to the top while calling off, you know, everyone that you don't deem necessary and moving forward, but it's more like getting there with the group of friends, you know, and fucking having fun. That's what matters at the end of the day. You guess you lack empathy or you've read too much fucked up manga because you're not sad? Listen, kid, you're probably a dumbass kid, teenager, that hasn't experienced any true loss in the family. Take a couple of years. Your grandparents are going to start to die. Your mom and dad's probably going to start to die. They're probably going to get cancer or something. Your friends as well, your close group, they're all going to start dropping like flies. Because right now, you're an edgy teenager that has no concept of what true suffering is. And you can live in a sheltered world being edgy as all you want and laugh at this. But just know, when you get your, you know, when you start getting older, when you start getting older, health is the most important thing. And the people around you, you take for advantage. Just telling you, man, just, just get ready for what's to come, baby. Because, oh boy, life's a bitch, then you fucking die. <laughs> Mother, please! <laughs> Look at that rabbit, mom. So cute, so real. <gasps> Are you Rose? Oh, she's crying. <sighs> it's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs> These tears. What is this? <laughs> All the pent up emotion and trauma. And the stress of never visiting family again, bro. It's fucking poor. <laughs> it was the fucking rabbits that really pushed towards the end. More rabbits! Summon more rabbits! Aww. So like, uh, who's Mother Rosario? Who, who, who is Mother Rosario? Hello! <laughs> We're gonna find out next episode. <laughs> All right, what's up, mom? Can I stay at school now or what? She's acting like nothing happened. Is he assuming Kirito? Okay. Stay at your school. Okay. She's playing hard ass. She's being a little cold, but at the end of the day... She met halfway. All right, we just got to study a little bit harder. Okay, mother-daughter relationship saved. All thanks to Super Aids. Schizo, Yuki. There is one more episode left. Where are you going, Yasna? Is she going to the hospital? Is Yuki going to be dead? So that's, that's today's episode. We have one more episode, and we still don't know who Mother Rosario is. But at the very least, our mom and Asna, they've mended all thanks to a terminally ill kid. I still don't know if this is the right way to approach it. And there's something still suspicious with the teacher that put, you know, Yuki on the spot. But I wonder how this is going to ramp up next episode, bro. 
he's gonna pass away and we're gonna probably celebrate the life and then we're gonna go to season three Alicia's actually no we got the of course the movie the ordinal that every fucking SEO video I make there's people that just constantly spam do you know that movie ordinal you have to watch ordinal every fucking video I make they just keep saying it and no matter how many times I answer I know, I know, don't worry, we will watch. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't do this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.